I'm going to show you today how to ship with Collex Envelope. We created Collex Envelope to give you a really cheap and effective way to get tracked mail on cards. Now, Collex Envelope is not for shipping any type of card. This is really ideally when you're shipping a raw card um, like this. If you're shipping a slab, you want to ship it via package because you're not going to be able to put these into a regular envelope. But if you've got a raw card, Collex Envelope is one of the cheapest and most effective ways to ship them. Starting at 75 cents, we will provide you with tracked mail and a label so that all you have to do is put the thing in the mail and both the buyer and the seller will be able to see where it is all along the journey. Now, the first thing you wanna know when you're shipping via Collex Envelope is you should protect your cards. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to take your card and put it into a penny sleeve like this and then the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get a top loader. Um, you can also use card savers, they work just as well, but I personally like top loaders which are a little bit more rigid. So put the card into the top loader, stamp it down, and then get a little piece of painter's tape like this and put that over the top of the card. This just prevents the card from falling out of the top loader in the middle of shipping. All right, next you're gonna to want to get uh, an envelope. Now, you can't use just any type of mailer. You have to use an envelope. What defines an envelope? Well, there is a kind of a broad definition. A number 10 business envelope is almost always gonna work just fine, um, but you can also get some more semi-rigid like photo mailers like this. Um, you don't want them to be too rigid. If they're too rigid, they won't go through the US Postal Service's mail sorters. Uh, but as long as you have a regular envelope, and you know the dimensions of these are on our website, but it, it, it can't be really any smaller than three and a half by five inches. Also can't be any larger than six, 6.125 by 11.5. So it's bigger than like a piece of paper. That's too big, right? That won't work. Um, another thing to know about envelopes is they can't be heavier than three ounces. So what does that mean? What is three ounces? Well, a quick and easy way to figure it out is Every, every, every card in a top loader is gonna be close to 0.4. So you really don't wanna have more than three or four in an envelope. You might be able to squeeze in one or two more if you weigh it, make sure. But if you've got like 10 cards, you're already in package territory. We make this really easy on collects as well. So if you have collects envelope as your default, if you go over that in terms of the weight, or if you go over it in terms of a more than $50 of value, we're gonna automatically bump it up to the Collex package option. So typically your buyer is the one paying for shipping. Most, uh, most sellers will choose to have the buyer pay for shipping, but just know that if you have a lot of cards or if they're over $50 of value, we're gonna automatically graduate you to a package option. I'll talk more about that in a second. But getting back to the envelope. So once you have your card, um, package it up like this, toss it in the envelope, seal it up, and then grab the label that you've got. I've blacked out the address here, but this is what your typical collects uh, envelope label is gonna look like. You can print these out on a thermal printer, like a Dymo or a Rolo. You can also just print them out on a regular, regular printer and just cut it out. When you cut it out, don't cut it too close. Give a nice big white border around there um, so that you have some, some room to be able to, to take the thing down. And then you're gonna take that label, peel it off, and throw it on. Everything that you need for the shipment is right there on the label. You've got the postage here on the corner, you got a tracking link here, which is what we use to be able to track where the envelope is in process. You'll get email notifications, as will the buyer, every step along the way so that you can see where it is in transit. And then ultimately, you know, when the item has arrived, you know, as the seller, you know that it's there. The buyer should know that as well. And when the order is received, ultimately the buyer needs to go into the app and hit item received. Once he does that, it's going to release the funds to you. So that's Collects Envelope. Now, I mentioned that if your cards are over three ounces or over $50, we're gonna put you right into package territory. So. When you're talking about a package, you're gonna to wanna to put the cards into a bubble mailer or another protective uh, envelope. You can't do this if it's one of these labels, okay? You can't use these, <laughs> you can't put this label on this. But 
if you get a, if you get a Klex envelope label, um, which looks slightly differently, it's a USPS first class label, then you're gonna wanna put all the cards into a bubble mail or some other package. You can even put them in a small, small box. Um, there are some limitations as well on the definition of a package, so I'd, I'd encourage you to check out our website or click on the little question mark icon in the seller settings of the Collex app. But when you package up your cards in one of these, um, we'll have a whole other video on this, by the way. Um, it's really important, especially if you're sending you know, cards like, like, like graded cards, or you're sending a whole bunch of these. I always recommend put them with a nice little piece of cardboard. These are pre-cut. Wrap these around the cards. Take that painter's tape um, and put it on all four sides of the card. So just like wrap this around each of the sides of the card and then put it into the, uh, into the package and toss that in the mail. These are also being sent out via the US Postal Service and you're gonna get tracking just like you do with the collects envelope option. And you're actually gonna get delivery confirmation from the US Postal Service as well, which is really great. So that's a little bit about using collects envelope. We think it's the cheapest, best way to ship lower end cards. Hope you get to try it out and thanks for using collects.